So, you might have a friend or a sibling who's really into cars. And anybody that knows me knows that I'm into cars. That's kind of become like a personality trait of mine. You might be wondering, you know, of all things, why cars? Because cars was created originally as a transportation device to take people from one place to another. So you don't have to have a horse or whatever. And yet people are buying these cars that are like so expensive and so fancy. These automakers are making cars go faster and faster and faster every year. These fast cars that are so fast, but you can't really take full advantage of their capability because we're on the public roads and we have speed limits and even on tracks, like you can't even go that fast. And then you have people who would take cars that are not as fast as like, let's say a Bugatti or whatever, but they buy parts for them and they tune them up and fix them up to make them so fast. So what gives, what, what is all this about? Why are people so fascinated by transportation devices? actually thought really hard about this. Truth is, there's no neat and tidy answer. It comes with several factors, but let's start off with how we get into cars. Let's talk with how I got into cars. A lot of people get into cars because of video games or movies. For me, it was a game, Midnight Club 3 Double Edition Remix. If you don't know it, it was a racing game made by Rockstar Games. I locked all these new cars. I was like, ooh, these look really nice. I started to really like them, how they look. All these cars and like, there's such a big variety of them. You can drive whatever, anything from like, sport bike to like kind of like escalate like as we kept going later and later what really got me excited was the exotic car it had like lamborghinis gambalas which are like modified porsches the mclaren f1 all these exotic cars i didn't even know what the word exotic meant but next thing you knew i was just on google youtube looking up exotic cars and looking up some of the names of the cars that I saw in the game. You know, I started watching a bunch of videos on them, a lot of which by Brian Zook, shout out to him. Back in the days, his videos were my go-to for just looking up exotic car compilations. And from there, that just opened up a whole new world for me. That's when I started looking at cars on like the street too, like whenever we would go out and like, I would look on the back of it to read brand of it and make and model and then I would start to memorize like the make and models of cars and it didn't take me long to be able to identify any car make and model on the street that I see and that still carries on to this point almost every car that I see on the road I can identify the make and model so why are we so fascinated by cars that comes with many different aspects I kind of divided the different parts of cars that people are interested in. so let's start off with aesthetics the art of it that's a factor for many people whether it's like a classic car or even the modern era everyone has their own taste in styling the way they look plays a big role not just how they look from the factory and the fact that you can do a lot of stuff to tweak it to modify whether it's like changing the color or changing body panels, just the customization aspect of it and like the art of it. And being able to do not only just the exterior, but like the interior too. There's a lot that you can do to like tweak it to your own style and you can make your own masterpiece out of it. The art aspect of it plays a big role. Some people like the action too, driving fast, being on the edge of traction, shifting gears, turning the wheel, fighting over you. That's why a lot of car enthusiasts like to take back roads instead of the highway. 
and in the free time they like to go to track days so you can be able to experience that action just so visceral another part of it is sound so explaining why cars sound good to people that don't really think that is very difficult to do but i think i've come up with the reason why playing games or like watching the movies or even being inside the actual car the engine note is part of the experience it's part it's part of what makes it visceral the engine note gets higher and higher pitch and faster and faster as you're getting closer to red line as you going faster that becomes ingrained in the experience it becomes music to our ears and some engines just having the sound better than other depends on like what your taste is the turbo whooshing and like blow off valves and like supercharger one that's all part of the experience like i said it just becomes music to our ears sometimes it has to do with the technology too and like the features of it I really enjoy like all the luxury features because I have to admit, I'm a luxury guy. I enjoy the luxuries of cars, some of the tech of it too. I find that fascinating. Ooh, and another point is the sense of freedom too. You know, getting into a car all on your own, like you can do whatever, drive wherever. Like when you take a train or a plane or a bus or a taxi you're not the one in control of what's going on you're just kind of along for the ride being able to drive make your own decisions very empowering another reason why we love cars is it gives us something to do and something to talk about for people that like to work on cars that's the stress relief that's what they do in their spare time and when they're so stressed about like everything that's going on, they can just work in their cars or take a drive in that small moment. They're in their own reality at that point. It gives us a lot to research about and a lot to talk about. I can go on for hours talking to my car friends about cars because the spectrum is just so wide. We can bounce from like talking about one car to another drifting, modifying, dream cars. The bandwidth is just so huge. Being a car enthusiast is what brings other car enthusiasts together. People become friends over this. And that's not to say that that's the only thing like they talk about and that's the only reason why they're friends. But it helps bring us together. It's, it feels so great to have somebody with a common interest. Let's not forget the average Joe, even they have dream cars. Maybe they won't be particularly impressed by like, I don't know, like a 1986 RX-7 or something like that. But I'm sure they'll be very impressed by like an Aventador. Like so would a lot of enthusiasts, maybe on a higher scale. Why people like cars depends on many different factors and how much of it. I would like to think that I have a little bit of everything and I tend to prefer cars that are not so focused in one aspect that kind of have a little bit of everything that I listed. So that's kind of where I fall. Can't see myself with any other interest. Like anything else is just kind of, it's not on the same level as how much I like cars. That's what made me start my YouTube channel nine years ago. I was nine years old when I made my first video. I really hope this video gave you some perspective as to why car enthusiasts are into cars. I really hope that car people stick together because on the one hand, some people are very open-minded, but I noticed a lot of people that make fun of other people's cars and what other people are into. That like the interest for cars is too low for us to divide amongst ourselves even more we all gotta respect it. please subscribe you know check out my other videos and tell all your friends about my channel i really appreciate it